This tutorial is specifically going to go over a question from a customer. How do I enter the correct weight of meat when my recipe refers to a beginning raw weight, but my nutritionals call for cooked meat values? Well, the good news is the ESHA database includes yield options for many USDA and Canadian nutrient file items, which allows you to enter a beginning raw weight, but you get to end up with the cooked values for your finished recipe. I'm going to show you how this works. Um, what I'm going to do here is search for a cooked form of meat with yield options. They'll include terms such as AP raw, uh, ESHA code 15004 is a good example for this tutorial. AP, by the way, means as purchased. So we see here a variety of AP choices for this item, raw with bone, raw with bone and skin, and raw boneless. What I'm going to do is enter a pound for each of these options so you can see the differences in yield weight versus total weight. Now, all of the choices for an ESHA code item with the yield options report nutritional values per the description in the top line, which is the edible portion of the chicken, but allow you to enter the starting weight in a different form, like raw or untrimmed. The program will automatically give you the yield for the edible amount, whatever form you start with. So once we have this entered, I can show you here that this one has a 100% yield. So one pound entered equals one pound of the edible cooked meat. Now this one is adjusted to account for the removal of the bone and then the loss from cooking. So one pound yields 239 grams of edible cooked meat. This one adjusts for the removal of the bone and the skin and the loss from raw to cooked. And this one is automatically adjusted to account for just the loss from cooking. Now we can also do this for produce. So when you search for say broccoli, um, if you look underneath, you'll see mej, M-E-A-S, and that's often used when the resulting item has been trimmed or you know, cooked or otherwise processed. I'm gonna show you this example, which shows fresh broccoli with an option to be in with the untrimmed weight. I'm going to enter a pound of both of these. So once again, I can show you the difference. And I'm also going to enter cooked broccoli with an option to begin with the weight of the raw frozen form. Once again, I will enter a pound for both of these. So notice again the total weight versus the yield weight. So again, the program accounts for processing losses, trimming losses, cooking losses. Um, and then up here, you can see the yield weight of the total recipe. Obviously these numbers are absurd for one serving, but you get the idea. Okay, thank you. This concludes our tutorial on yields in the database.